that is it's in play in it some way yeah. exactly. so set up while you said that left hand needs to be a little yeah. bit more if we look at your left hand there it's a bit blur now I know but your left you can I know, I you it probably it's a big can't... thing about dropping it to the bottom of your fingers isn't it exactly like, yeah, that's because yeah. it literally it naturally will fall over there well, exactly your left hand just got to go on yeah. top there okay if your left hand sits in the palm here now you'll tend to squeeze and you that thumb that, if, yeah. you're, if it's relatively aiming towards your yeah. right shoulder you're yeah, yeah. okay yeah, yeah, you're exactly. getting a bit better yeah, yeah okay. and, as you, and if I sort of down here you can't really see that line that's why yeah. I have the mirror but if I just sort of do that now you yeah. can see it kind of points well, you that can way see, like, see if my yeah. hand was here and I sort of kind of hinge up anyway but I can't, yeah. you can see where it's okay. going there so yeah, the left no hand in that finger is definitely going to help that now Previously, if you look at your back swing here now, you can see even before that club goes back, what we see now is the head drops, the knee goes forward, and there's a big shoulder turn from here now, and your shoulders have probably gone through 130 degrees mm. maybe, that hip's gone through about 70 or 80, the right foot's gone off the ground, knee's really kicking in, so you lost a lot of balance there. Now the club, yes, the club has gone a long way, from there to yeah. there is a long swing. But the distance between your left side and your shoulders is not really made that much different. You haven't that's really a lot further physical wrong as well, to be fair. Precisely, yeah, well, exactly. The club traveling that far is a lot more time for that club or more distance to travel for things to go wrong. Okay, now this swing on the right-hand side, it felt to you really short, obviously, okay? We said about no legs, no lower half, okay? That's not that far short being a full swing. If you imagine just your yeah. arm with a little bit higher there, you're actually turning 90 degrees, which is a full shoulder turn. Yeah, which feels I'm, to I'm you nothing at all, does it? Facing up the wind, yeah. Yeah, I but you, in there, at least yeah. if you look at that, you look kind of a bit more in balance. Yeah. Now, if we can get that backswing in time, I would see your left arm just getting a smidgen high, which will give you the club further to horizontal. It's more the swing through the ball. We've got to try and get more swish through. But back to the golf ball now. Swish back there, your left arm now on the shoulder and more in line. If we look at this one here now as you come through, that pulling of the arm there. There's the yeah. club, you see. So you've got that pulling, which keeps the club face open. If, you're, back yeah, if your left arm is lined up here, and I'm not saying straight locking yeah. here, but if I'm here, if I push my left arm forward, look at the club face. Yeah. So the more you handle the club goes forward, the more open the club yeah. gets. So if when you're in the golf ball, your left hand is pulling away, so there's impact there, and there's impact there. Look at your left arm mm. relative to your body, and there's a bit of daylight there coming between your left arm and your body there. Yeah. So as you come through now, at this position, the right arm to the ground and the club are all in a straight line and your glove is kind of visible whereas if we look at this one with that sort of swish through now your glove's gone and when your right arm gets horizontal to the ground okay. about there I guess Oops, sorry. we're kind of getting that close to that old position there you see so what we're going to try here when you finish this swing you sort of stop there if we can in time and what the progression will be really for me is you making this kind of shorter length back swing under control and then gradually increasing the length of the follow through so you feel more of a fullish swing yeah and allow because the body's still moving through when you finish there instead of full shoulder turn right hip and right knee can just start going with that rather than the lean back as we can see there yeah okay once we get that impact position better we can then just start creating a bit more power by going back a little bit further but a bit more turn with the arms, the shoulders and the arms, there, rather than your lower half collapsing and yeah. sliding and then yeah. you're tilting and losing control. So you sort of strip your swing down from being way too long, overswinging there, club face open and across and everything else and sort of pointing down to the ground there. Shorten it both sides, get the length going back, feeling more comfortable and getting a good impact and say 160 yards in the air with just a basic arm flick. Yeah. The power's there and that's why yeah. you see the old boys, their goal, yeah. so if you watch their swing on the range, their swing doesn't really get much longer than that, but it goes about 160, it's, 170 it's that, yards yeah, yeah. because they strike it properly. Okay? And that's the thing. If you can create power at this part of the goal, so at the bottom, rather than all this length and speed mm. at the top here, the ball doesn't have a clue what your goal club's doing up there. And what it wants, you wouldn't know. All the golf ball knows what the club does down there. Yeah, so yeah, you've got yeah. to get that club back to the ball. So the emphasis for me is more on through the ball as opposed to how big a backswing can I get. Yeah. And we all see it. When we get on the golf course, if you're maintaining that length backswing, then as you swing on the golf course if it's a bit of a funny hole a bit tidy a bit anxious you might then start slowing things down as you come back down which is again not an ideal thing to do and you'll miss hit it it'll go left or right or miss it or if you just keep the power on and try and accelerate which is what you should do but from that position there that club all the way back there how it comes back to the golf ball is anyone's yeah. guess it could be all <laughs> over the place it could be sliced topped hook block anything so if we can just harness a little bit of a shorter more controlled backswing take your legs and your lower out of play just get your top half and your arms sort of turning yeah. and then the more your top half actually rotates with the minimal amount of leg movement the lower half you're actually tightening up and coiling up better 
you look at the tour professional and they rotate their shoulders, they're not really moving their hips yeah. quite as much. Your hips are almost rotating through yeah. almost, really, 90 almost 90 degrees. So it's basically a full rotation. And again, your, your peak, yeah. your cap sort of going over there. It's a real big turn there and twist. Yeah. There's a lot there to go wrong, okay? So it's quite good, with, like, say, doing it without uh, with the bottom, just with the teeth. Yeah, you hear it? exactly. And then it gives yeah. you feedback, but if you miss it, it slightly, you're not going to know. So you're yeah. not going to go, oh, I'll change something. You're still going to keep doing the same movement because you're trying to encourage that move. Looking at the mirror when you first did yeah. that, your first swing, you couldn't stop the golf club short there, could you? It was like, no. oh, 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 my God. And just kept going. But a yeah. lot of that is just your instinctive reaction to go from here just to that happens. Your first move is that. So it's, 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 it'd be very hard to stop there. If you just kept that there and locked completely and just did that, it'd yeah. be harder to go that much further back. I mean, what you can do, sometimes I've had it before, if, you get a, if you've got a fairly biggish football, I mean, a basketball, or some baskets even, put them between your knees. Now, these baskets might not be big enough, potentially. Okay. Squeeze that in there like so, and then just make some swings. Okay, because if you you can't move your legs at all, because obviously you're going to be locked in there. So if you want to find a position of comfort there, obviously when you sit, so, but just make some swings now. So you've got the basket between your knees. All you, you are is you top half and arms. Okay, so that's all we're going to be doing there. Top half and arms there. Get the arms and the shoulders getting that club air speed, and then in time, obviously, we'll get that, and then we'll get that. Yeah. Okay, but that's probably more the next progression as we go through. Yeah. Okay, make sense? Brilliant. Cool. Right.